I say again that Nupur Sarma has no connect with Kanpur. Kanpur uh, arson or Kanpur violence has different reasons the same way the Kalia Chakrats they have different reasons. What I want to say uh, Rahul that emotions of a certain community are being misused by anti-India conspirators who want to bleed India. And this is not what I am saying. Nee, uh, there are you're not answering the main question. The main question that uh, Miss uh, Rana is posing to you is a straight one. She is saying the action is completely one-sided. How do you respond to that charge? How can the action be one-sided? What Mr. Rana is making a point that it's a case of Hindu police versus a Muslim mob. Do you have a list? The police is not a Hindu police. There are Muslim people in the police. Not uh, a Hindu from police. From constable to officials. Don't try to communalize law enforcement. That's yeah. the response. Okay, let's open this up further. Meeta Chakravarti is listening in. Karuna Gopal also with us. Mr. Chakravarti, why are we adducing motives to every state institution? The courts are constantly, uh, well, in there's insinuation that they are wearing saffron chaddis, the judges. Now we are being told that uh, the police themselves are Islamophobic. Tomorrow you will say that uh, parliament, the constitution is also biased against Muslims. Where does this stop? I can't hear you. I think you put yourself on mute. Yes, please unmute yourself. Thank you. Yeah. You hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. All right. Uh, uh, firstly, good evening to all your viewers. And uh, I think it's a very unfortunate situation where the local political representatives and political leaders are constantly saying, and I think they have their own reasons to say what they are saying, that the police investigation is probably or possibly biased. I think what we need to do is do a bit more of soul searching and self introspection and see how did we get into this situation, into this ecosystem of hate. When we have people like uh, uh, the former national spokesperson of BJP, Nupur Sharma, who, is, who was holding a position of high responsibility, go on and make such an irresponsible statement. She wasn't just talking on her behalf, she was talking on the behalf of the government the present day government, which also happens to be the same uh, uh, party that is uh, governing the state of Uttar Pradesh, which is responsible for the law and order maintenance in the state. When we have the Home Minister, Amit Shah, make statements like uh, calling the Bangladeshi immigrants uh, termites, when we have an union minister saying Gadaru ko goli maro, when we have a, a BJP MP saying uh, Nathuram kut se desh tha or desh rahega, you cannot get away by saying that these are fringe elements. These are not fringe elements. When you have people in positions of power, in pe positions of responsibility, make irresponsible statements, you have an ecosystem of hate. And in an e ecosystem of hate, you have such unfortunate violences, not justifying the violences. Any writer, irrespective of religion, irrespective of political alignment, needs to be punished as okay. per the law of the land. So, so you're saying that there is entrenched bias. You're saying there is entrenched bias. bias and